This is my domestic red maple. It's also known as Acer rubrum. It's early spring here in Florida and everything's just about coming into leaf. And I don't want this tree this tall. This is just a stock tree that I put in a regular pot here just for the purpose of propagating or cloning. So in this video I'm going to show you how I use the tourniquet method to make air layerings on this maple. A few air layerings. Eventually I'm going to make this bottom section a bonsai tree. And then I'm going to try to make this middle section a separate tree. And then I might do some air layerings on these branches here. Make them into separate trees as well. Last year I didn't have any success using the regular ring bark method. Where you cut a strip of bark away from the tree in order to air layer it. I guess it was drying out too much here in Florida. And it was causing dieback really bad. And I didn't have any success. So... This year I'm going to try the tourniquet method. With the tourniquet method, you basically wrap a piece of wire really tightly around the bark and it suffocates it to where the roots will start growing right above where you suffocated it from. And then you put a ball of sphagnum moss around it, that way the roots have somewhere to grow. And then eventually when you see roots coming out, you can cut it off and then it'll create the separate tree. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get your materials ready. What I have here is a few strips of plastic bag. This is what I'm going to use to wrap the sphagnum moss in. I chose a pretty durable, clear plastic bag. That way it'll stay strong and you can see the roots if they start forming. So this is just a piece of bark bag that I had ripped up. And then next you want some moist sphagnum moss. This is what you're going to wrap around the branch. And then I have my cloning solution. It's a rooting gel called Clonex. It's just a gel version of the rooting powder that you see for sale. And then I have a few bits of recycled scrap wire. This is aluminum wire, so it'll bend and hold its shape. So I'm going to start my first air layering right here on this tree had cut this in the past and then the new leader grew from here but I'm gonna just keep this lower section for the bonsai tree so this whole section I'm willing to cut off so any new growth you see I'm just gonna peel off because that's right where I'm gonna put my air layering typically you want to put it where there's a node a node is the little protrusion that sticks out that'll give it the best chance for the roots to come out there so since I want the roots to come out from here I'm gonna wrap a wire right here and then tighten it to the tree so you'll see what I do right now I'm just gonna fold it over like that and then just twist it till it kind of goes and bites into the bark a little bit. So just like that. It's lightly bitten into the bark. You don't want to tighten it too tight just so it won't move if you wiggle it back and forth. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is right above the wire, I'm gonna put the rooting hormone gel. All right, got my rooting gel. Now I'm gonna brush it right above the wire. Just like that. 
Now I'm going to get a sheet of this plastic and get a good wad of sphagnum moss right in the middle of it like that. I'm going to kind of compact it down. And this part can be kind of tricky, so basically you want to put the sphagnum moss right above where you put the choking wire. So just like that, I'm going to close the bottom of the bag off. Kind of tuck it in make it kind of like a funnel just like that I'm gonna get a longer wire and just tie the bottom and then you want to make it snug so nothing will fall out so just like that where it gripped it now you can kind of just pack in the sphagnum moss to the root ball. Just make sure it's completely surrounding the bark area. Just like that. And then you can fold the rest of the bag over. Just like that. And then tie the wire to the bag. So I just kind of wrap it around the middle to kind of hold it tight. And then I wrap it around the top to keep the top closed. Just like that. And then you can go ahead and trim off the excess wire. There you go. You've got one air layer on the tree and basically you just let it grow here until you see roots come out of it and then you can snip it off right here. So right now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the tree but this is the same procedure that I'm going to use for each branch. So there we have it. I put three air layerings on using the tourniquet method. I've got this little branch, I've got this section, and then this branch up here. So now all I gotta do is just fertilize it in. This will promote faster growth. And then keep it watered, keep it out of the direct sun and then let it let it do its thing and then we'll check up on it later and see how it does so here we have it i have it right here next to the fence in a shaded area so the sun doesn't bake on it too heavily i'm going to just keep it watered and we'll check up on it later <laughs> 